Hey, what's up guys? Passive Baller here. We are now on this uh, second game for the second day of this uh, second round of Eurobasket 2022. Uh, this will be the matchup between Croatia and Finland. Uh, this will happen 8.45 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm sorry, 8.45 p.m. That's Manila Time. So that's 8.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Again, that's Finland going up against Croatia. And before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, here we go. Um, second round, uh, both teams uh, actually ended up with the same record in the first round with three wins and two losses. Uh, by the way, the spread on this is... Uh, is it 5.5 or is it 4.5? Let me double check something here. Um, it's 4.5. All right. So it's minus 4.5 given to Croatia. All right. Minus 4.5 given to Croatia. And by the way, before uh, I discuss my thoughts on this, I just want to uh, uh, give my shout outs to Kin Kabashete. Uh, thank you, bro, for uh, the support here in our YouTube channel. All right. Okay, minus 4.5 for Croatia. We all know Croatia is, has always been and has been consistently one of the uh, best European teams there is, right? They may not be the champion yet, but they are consistently good. Now, for Finland, um, they are actually um, one of the contenders uh, at this tournament because of Markkinen. Uh, we all know um, how good Markkinen has been. You know, um, He has improved his shooting at the same time. He has... Uh, worked on his body. He has become stronger. He has become more athletic. Um, he, he just became his, their leader. You know, if whenever they need someone to score, whenever they need someone to uh, to, to to defend someone, they got marketing. So uh, for me, Croatia's number one uh, assignment in here is to take Markkinen out. Of co of course, that's easier said than done. And you can never really uh, stop. Marketing, you know, all you can do is to really minimize the damage that he would be, uh, that you know, that he'd be able to give to your team. So if they would be able to do that, then Croatia would really be on the roll, or Croatia would go forward towards the next round. Now, can Croatia do that? Now, Croatia, um, what's good about Croatia is that they have a lot of bigs, they have a lot of talent, which can actually um, uh, do that for them. Of course, you can't just put one player uh, to take on Markkinen, uh, but they got Zubac, right? They got Saric, and they have other uh, other locals that they can actually put on Markkinen um, if ever one is actually uh, needing to sit down. So that's what's um, good about Croatia. They have a lot of players. They have a lot of talent. They have a lot of bigs uh, to possibly do that for them. Now, minus 4.5, um, if you take a look at uh, the... Um, the scores that Croatia has given in the first round, you might not be taking Croatia, but I'm taking on Croatia on this particular game. Just like what I said earlier, they have enough bigs, they have enough uh, talent to take on Markkinen. And number two, this is you know this is no more th this is no more first round. I'm pretty sure Croatia understands what Finland is capable of doing. Uh, we, we 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 saw Finland uh, destroy. Uh, the teams that they can beat, but man, if Croatia can just actually uh, step on the pedal early on in the first quarter, they should not be having any trouble uh, taking out Finland and at the same time covering the spread. So my pick on this one would be Croatia, minus 4.5. Expect Bogdanovic to actually uh, uh, step up a in terms of the scoring, and Zubac would actually take on Markkinen, uh, trying to, again, stop Markkinen to... Um, uh, put a lot of damage towards their team. Croatia, minus 4.5. Peace out, pass I love, and God bless.